afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. A sophisticated machine made in New Mexico could change the way people travel across the U.S. Scientists at Los Alamos National Laboratory showed off the tool today. They can read liquids in a bottle and tell security if they're dangerous. News 13's Maria Medina is live at the Sunport with more. Well, Kim, it was about four years ago that TSA made it more difficult for passengers to carry on liquids after an alleged bomb plot included involved uh, rather liquid explosives, but that could all change in just a few years. <laughs> you have one bottle. That's all. It's TSA's 311 rule. No bottles bigger than 3.4 ounces in one quart size Ziploc bag per traveler. So I loaded what appeared to be a Perrier bottle. Now scientists say they've created a liquid scanner that would kiss the 311 rule goodbye. So bottles can be sealed. You don't have to open them. It's okay if there's foil. It's okay if they're a can. The silver rectangular box can read liquids through different containers, plastic, even aluminum cans. Green light means the liquid is safe. Red tells the TSA the liquid is not. This just tells you that this may say it's shampoo, but it is not shampoo. It's actually hydrogen peroxide. The scanner takes seconds, but there are still a few kinks. You just load your item in and wait the 15 seconds. We set the timer for a bottle of OJ, and instead of 15 seconds, it took nearly double the time at 27 seconds. This would add to traveling time. The last thing travelers want is to stand in a longer line because of another safety measure, but scientists say they ultimately want the machine to read liquids within a second. That would be a benefit. That would be a good thing because it would be uh, very much like it, it used to be. Some, like Ted Sarhanis, says it could make flying the friendly skies a lot friendlier. So, you know, it would be a good thing to have this uh, technology in place next time I fly. Uh, maybe not that soon. Scientists say they want to test the machine at an airport to see how it works. So, Kim, you might be the first one to test out the machine. Okay, maybe. good to know. Thanks, Maria. Lionel scientists say this technology could actually be used by doctors in the future, even make getting medical treatment cheaper.